We try to make customizing your account as simple as possible. And Custom Fields is a great way to personalize your pipelines and your contacts so you can pull the reports you need. Depending on your industry, you might have some custom fields already, but regardless, it's a good idea to check them out and make sure you're capturing everything you want. In this video, we'll talk about the basics of custom fields. We will also talk about adding fields for your contacts and companies. We'll chat through pipeline custom fields. And finally, we'll talk through filtering and sorting by any field. There is no need to add fields for basic information about your contacts. So things like names, job titles, emails, phone numbers, addresses, those are all default fields in the CRM. So they come with every account already. However, if you need to track other types of information about your contacts, like an account ID, a specific sign up date, a source, you probably want to add a custom field for that. In Less Annoying, there are three places to add these fields, to your contacts, your companies, or to your pipelines. No matter where you're adding a field, we've got lots of different field types that you can create. Just create the field that you need on your settings page, and then you'll see it show up on your records or your pipelines. So you might have plain text fields for information that's a little different, like an account ID. Maybe you need a drop down list of how you met someone. We have all types of custom fields you can create and then use on your records or pipelines to customize your forms and processes. Next up, we will talk about how to add these fields, and then we'll also go through how to filter and report back. Okay, let's add some contact and company fields. So both have default fields when you start. Things like names, job titles, emails, phones, that kind of stuff. Those are already there um, and they're default to every account. Depending on your industry too, you may also see some additional fields already as well. Um, but to add a custom field, just click the button here, give the field a name, and then choose the type of field that you want. A text box is great for data that you'll type in each time. Drop downs are great when you will only select one option. Checkbox lists are great for multi values. And date fields can show up on your calendar. This contact link field type lets you directly link out to another record in the system. And it's great for tracking, like who referred someone. Um, file fields are similar to our regular file option on your contacts, but you can name this field whatever you want. So it's very clear what should be uploaded regularly. Okay, now that you've created your fields, you can always reorder them and you can even create a section on your fields to keep your forms very clutter free. Company custom fields work exactly the same way. So think about what data you need to enter about your companies. Customize your fields for that just the way you like. One last thing to note, since contacts and companies are two separate records, there are situations where you will want the same field on both record types. For example, if you want to pull up a list of contacts and companies in a specific industry, you'll want to create an industry field on both record types and then be sure to fill out that industry on both record types. Pipelines track processes like lead tracking or onboarding new clients. If you're not sure what a pipeline is, I would recommend checking out that video on pipelines as we will deep dive into what pipelines are a bit more there. Generally though, a pipeline is made up of two parts. You have your statuses and then you have your fields. Pipeline statuses track where someone is in your process and pipeline fields let you track other types of nuanced data about that process, like a lead source or the value of a sale. Creating custom pipeline fields works the same way as creating your contact custom fields, and you'll just need to edit the pipeline to get to them. You can create pipeline text boxes, text areas, dropdowns, checkbox lists, all the same types of fields as we just talked about. You can also make different sections for your pipeline custom fields too, to organize your data even more. So you've created your custom fields. How do you filter and sort by those? There are a couple places to do this. So let's start on the contacts page and I will give a few examples. This page is a list of all the records in your CRM, all your contacts and your companies. And you can filter this by any of your contact or company fields. Just add a filter here to narrow this down by any field on your account that are on your contacts or companies like the records in a certain city. 
just add a filter on that field. If you need to find everybody with a birthday that month, just filter by the birthday field to find a list of your contacts in that month and then send them a card. This banner at the top shows me what I'm currently looking at so I can always adjust things if necessary from here. And you can stack or add more filters to the page, which will narrow it down even more. Now you can always export or print out this list, or you could select all and add this list to a group or reassign those records to someone else. Let's switch gears here now and filter by your pipeline custom fields. It works the same way, but you'll need to be on a pipeline report. Your reports might be called something else depending on your pipeline, but from that report page, you'll see a list of all the records in the pipeline. Just add a filter from over here to pull the report you need. This time you'll be able to filter not only by contact and company fields, but you can also filter by any of the pipeline custom fields that you have as well. You can combine these custom field filters with your status filters or your assigned user filters and export or print from here in a click. If you need to pull a report, but you're missing a field, no problem. Just head back to your custom field settings and add that field on your contacts or your pipeline. And if you have any questions about where a field would go, just ask us. Okay. That's it for custom fields. Try adding one to your account now and let us know if you need anything else.